the original title of this session was Everything You Know is Wrong, and I'm going to present evidence that this particular part of our common understanding is wrong. That in fact, our ancestors were far more violent than we are, that violence has been in decline for long stretches of time, and that today we are probably living in the most peaceful time in our species' existence. Now, in the decade of Darfur and Iraq, a statement like that might seem somewhere between hallucinatory and uh, obscene, but I'm going to try to convince you that uh, that, that is the, the uh, correct uh, picture. The decline of violence is a fractal phenomenon. You can see it over millennia, over centuries, over decades, and over years, although there seems to have been a tipping point at the onset of the age of reason in the 16th century. One sees it all over the world, although not homogeneously. Uh, it's especially evident in the West, beginning with England and Holland uh, around the time of the Enlightenment. Let me um, take you on a journey from uh, several powers of 10 from the millennium scale to the year scale to try to persuade you of this. Until 10,000 years ago, all humans lived as hunter-gatherers without permanent settlements or uh, government. And this is the state that's commonly thought to be one of uh, primordial harmony. But the archaeologist um, Lawrence Keeley, looking at uh, casualty rates among contemporary hunter-gatherers, uh, namely, which is our best source of evidence about this way of life, has shown a rather different conclusion. Here's a graph that he uh, uh, put together showing the percentage of male deaths due to warfare in a number of foraging or hunting and gathering societies. The red bars correspond to the uh, likelihood that a man will die at the hands of another man as opposed to passing away of natural causes in a variety of foraging societies in the New Guinea highlands and the Amazon rainforest. And they range from a rate of almost a 60% chance that a man will die at the hands of another man to, in the case of the Gabuski, only a 15% uh, chance. The tiny little blue bar in the lower left-hand corner plots the corresponding statistic from the United States and Europe in the 20th century, and it cl includes all the deaths of both world wars. If the death rate in tribal warfare uh, had prevailed during the 20th century, there would have been 2 billion deaths rather than 100 million. Uh, also on the millennium scale, we can look at the way of life of early civilizations, such as the ones described in the Bible. And in this uh, supposed source of our moral values, one can read descriptions of what was expected in warfare, such as the following from Numbers 31. And they warred against the Midianites as the Lord commanded Moses, and they slew all the males. And Moses said unto them, Have you saved all the women alive? Now therefore kill every male among the little ones, and kill every woman that hath known man by lying with him, but all the wo women children that have not known a man by lying with him, keep alive for yourselves. In other words, kill the men, uh, kill the, uh, the uh, children. If you see any virgins, then you can keep them alive so that you can rape them. And you can find four or five passages in the Bible uh, of, of this ilk. Also in the Bible, one sees that the death penalty was the uh, accepted punishment for crimes such as homosexuality, adultery, blasphemy, idolatry, talking back to your parents, and picking up sticks on the Sabbath. Well, let's. Uh